Hello everyone, this is Dreadwing2029 here again with another Dread review. Now this time it is of Combiner Wars Rook. I think Rook is a bit of an underrated character. Well, a bit of an underrated um, protector bot in our Combiner Wars, Hasbro's Combiner Wars. Rook is generally an armored Armored um, SWAT vehicle. I don't exactly know what these are actually called, but I just know they're armored um, police SWAT vehicles that um, they house um, military SWAT and police inside. Generally, use like that. It's got SWAT police. <clears throat> it's got nice shiny, a really good Autobot symbol. I mean, some figures really do have a, really do have terrible faction symbols. Just have a look at um, Transformers Armada. They have this blotchy red and terrible Autobot symbols. But yeah, you got this weapon. There's like three different holes you can put the weapons on. Now I don't know what this weapon is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be a blaster? I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. Comment the best answer, <laughs> I guess. And also you can take the combine, um, combine mode feet or arms and you can attach it anywhere as well, giving him an extra bit of firepower. And he rolls pretty good for, a, for, a, for, for an armored truck that is. Doesn't roll too good on the surface, but he rolls average. From the front, he has golden headlights, a bit of silver there. And we also got some got some blue blue stripes. Very cool. <clears throat> Transform him. What you want to do is usually I, I start with like popping these out. These are going to be the feet, and just doing that. And I just take this out and have it up for, for the moment and peg these. These are going to be the, his arms. And just disconnect his legs. And of course it comes loose. Wow. Absolutely brilliant. Exactly what I need. It's... It's a really hot day out there. I should be out swimming. Should be out going for a swam. But there we go. Get his feet done. And you just want to take these, extend his legs. And my hands are really sweaty. So, sorry about that. I think that's just why. His legs. Just, just take the head off. Pop this out. Rotate his head, rotate his arms, and there we have Rook in robot mode. A very, very easy transformation. The Combiner Wars also have really, really easy, simple transformations. I reckon it's good because you can just quickly transform it back in vehicle mode and back without having the hassle of complete complete frustrating transformations. I actually really like this robot mode. It's a shame that this character kind of gets underrated out of the combat, um, out of the protective bots, I was about to say, combaticons. He has nice bulky shoulders, good size arms, pretty, pretty, um, pretty bulk, pretty, he has some bulk to him. And he also has these things, which are, which looks like um, the ha the arms actually molded into the cannon, which actually looks pretty cool. It actually look, it actually reminds me of um, Einhide's arm cannon, or his hand is his fist is literally the cannon. That is pretty cool. And you can take his weird looking weapon, and you can just plug it in there. I think I think. I would like to prefer this weapon as like some sort of stun gun or something because I know that 
That's that's what it looks like. That's what it reminds me of. And in, in if you want, you can peg it onto his shoulder. Have a shoulder cannon if you like. And you can just stick it on his back. Whatever suits you. Now how big is Mr. Rook? Here he is next to what I last reviewed. Well, should I say my first reviewed? Because this is rebooted. Here is um, Fracture. He's um, a little bit taller than Fracture. He's, he's a tad bit taller because of the head and just the way the shoulders, the shoulders kind of me match, I guess. Um, because I guess Fracture might be taller on the shoulders because he has those spiky shoulders. And then we have him next to the Terracon Zombie Cliff Jumper, which is a which is a remold of a um, first edition Cliff Jumper. I think, he's actually, I think he might be actually a smidge taller than him. He does have those big shoulders though. Oh yeah. And also, also you can plug in his combined mode foot so he can be like some sort of shield. It doesn't really exactly work out. I guess this could be like a riot shield though. I do realize I really like his, his head sculpt kind of looks like one of those hats he wear in Russia combined with a football player. Like one of those... It's like, it remind yeah, that's what it pretty much reminds you of. One of, those, one of those comfy hats that you wear in the winter in Russia. And a football player. That's what the head sculpt reminds me of. So I'm guessing this is kind of a tough Autobot. <laughs> I guess we assume that. And then my, and there's my phone going off. I'm, I'm so professional, as you can tell. Now I'm going to show you how to turn him back into ve into vehicle mode. Let's take off that. Just take off his um, backpack. Fold, turn around and fold away his head. Like that. Rotate the arms. This way. And fold. Kind of don't really need to do that yet. Kind of just fold these back. The police bit is facing this way. Kind of fold the arms so the blue is facing that way. And then fold up the feet. And just peg everything in. Into place. Oh, but for, oh, oh, forgot a step. First you want to dis ex, dis ex, <laughs> descend the legs. I am very bad with words because I am very sweaty, I am boiling hot. And I guess I just want to get this video uploaded so I can go swimming because I really need to cool off and it is a really hot day out there. <laughs> honest, to, honest to God. Alright, once you do that. And it should just, that bit can fold up there. Oh yeah. Try to get tightly there. And then we have Rook in his, in his vehicle mode. I almost said robot mode. Oh my god. I'm such a professional. Okay, this this is um, Rook's R mode, which is basically sort of like transforming him to robot mode, except you extend the legs and you fold up the back piece there. You don't really extend the arms that much. So if I get uh, Power Core Optimus Prime here, and just gonna get him up there, and take. Um, Rook here, I could just pop in his arm, like that, 
There he is with an arm. And also put in the connector. Like that. Just kind of extend that and just pop in the connector. So that's Rook as an arm. He actually looks pretty good as an arm. I actually prefer Rook as an arm as opposed to a leg. I don't know, it's just my opinion. I just kind of prefer him as an arm, but like the arm mode, I'm also going to show off the leg mode. So this is Rook basically in foot mode, which is basically all you do is fold out Rook's feet and as you can see back here, you also fold up the backpack. And also, for some reason, I like to display Rook's foot mode like this because if I can just rotate this, I don't know, it just doesn't really look that good as, um, like this. It doesn't really, I don't know, it just doesn't really look good. Which is sort of the reason why I prefer Rook as an arm than a leg. I don't know, it's just, doesn't really, I don't think it works well as a foot. It's just, it's just really my opinion. So there is Combiner Wars Rook, probably the most underrated of the Protect bots. What do I think of him? I actually really, really like him. The only thing I don't really have fun with him is that I don't really like him as a foot in Combiner Mode. It just doesn't really, I, just, I don't know, it just doesn't really work. I mean, this mold later gets remolded as Swindle because he kind of has the same kind of um, ties on the chest and the same kind of chest design and so when it works ex excellent as a foot but this guy doesn't really really work for me and also I really, I really like this design he has bulky big bulky shoulders arm cannons and his head design is like one of those hats in Russia combined with a football player it's just awesome I still don't know what this weapon is but I reckon he, I reckon, I reckon he needs like some personality, I think. He needs to be in an animated series, he needs to be in R.I.D. I mean, I reckon he has personality, I reckon they really need to, to flush him out, I reckon. So, this has been Dreadwing2029. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And also like and share with your friends, so... Signing out, hope you have a good time. I know I'm going to cool off. Good, goodbye, or good night, or good day, or good morning.